Westworld, the approach on the main title theme was the idea of something being constructed. We see images of robots being built. It starts out very moody and very slow and just with minimal instrumentation. With first the solo violin, then the piano comes in. And then it goes further where the string section comes in and the rhythm starts again with the idea of being that there's an assembly happening. Yeah, also what's interesting about the, the instrumentation is that I'm already right away I'm trying to capture both worlds, one being the Western world and the synthetic robotic worlds. There's an element of synthesizers and organic instruments, so the acoustic guitar representing the Western world. And then the piano actually, I feel always, is kind of the glue between the two sounds, but in the main title really captures the overall mood of that by having all those kind of instruments uh, play together. Composing is something I've always done that since I was a little child. I would always make up melodies. At the beginning, I didn't even write them down. I would just memorize them or forget them after a while. I mean, I was really little. But as a teenager, when I saw Magnificent Seven and Elmer Bernstein's score, when I heard that score and you walk out of the theater and th those melodies are still in your head. And of course, John Williams' Star Wars. These movie scores really triggered something for me. And that's when I decided I want to be a film composer when I grow up. And then I'm living my dream now, actually being able to do this. I think film music, it, it can be an additional character. It really is a big part of storytelling. It's be it either in the background under dialogue or when there's no dialogue and you really have music in the foreground. Both those approaches are a way of storytelling and pushing story forward. And I always like to think about the music as if you were to turn a picture off, actually. Just by listening to the piece of music, there is a story there and a connection to the characters and the plots and, and all that. One of the new big themes in Game of Thrones for Season 7 was the Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen love theme. What I actually did is I went all the way to the seventh episode and wrote the boat scene first. And that's where I established this theme. And the, the theme goes something like this. So when we first play it during one of their meetings, you sort of pick it up as a new theme, but it really doesn't put it in one way or another of, of what's to come. You'd better get to work, Jon Snow. We definitely didn't want to establish right away that there's going to be this love relationship coming out of it, so it gets played definitely a lot less emotional until there's more and more hints of their relationship. Then the melody develops further. There's another moment actually, for example, when Daenerys lands with the dragons and he actually walks up to a dragon and he touches the dragon. And that's really when the theme starts to play out more. It doesn't really fully flourish as a love theme until the very end. It's in that scene at the end where the theme really fully plays out. Yeah, I think as a composer, your task is to really get under the viewer's skin a little bit. Even if you don't always pay close attention to what's happening with the music in the background, but there's this additional mood that you can set. That's something that's very powerful because you might not even be aware of it, of why music makes you feel a certain way. But I think it's our job as a composer to explore that. And, and you know, what is it that makes you feel angry or sad or emotional? You know, there's so many creative ways of doing that with music, and that's, that's always fun to explore. What's interesting is as a studio composer, I'm in a room by myself most of the times, and even if I, when I interact with the musicians, it's in a studio setting. But in these concerts, being on stage and having the music performed live and being right in there and then having the audience response right there to get that reaction is absolutely incredible. That's obviously something I never get to experience when the soundtrack comes out or when people see a project that I've done in the theaters or on TV. So to experience that live is uh, incredible.